Hey everybody, I know uh, a lot of people had trouble with the video I posted on how to jailbreak firmware 1.1.3 and since yesterday there is we have found an easier way to do all this so for the purposes of this video I downgraded to a jailbroken 1.1.1 firmware which is this is something anybody can do it's not hard to find there's my firmware 1.1.1 so from this point on what we're going to do after here is we're going to you going to need to download all the files that will be provided in the description and from here on we're going to SSH into your iPod. So by now you've hopefully downloaded this jailbreak folder which will be available from a rapid share in the description of this video and you are also currently SSH'd into your iPod Touch which is running an older jailbroken firmware other than 1.1.3 so go ahead and open up the jailbreak folder there's another one inside and inside you'll find the soft upgrade folder so go ahead and move over to your iPod touch and be in the highest directory you can go just hit this up directory button until you can't go any farther and you'll find the private directory so open that up uh, inside is var root takes a while to refresh and media and I already have a soft upgrade folder in here because I was messing with it earlier but just go over to your computer pick up soft upgrade drag it over and copy now for me I'm going to hit copy I'm going to have to hit yes because I already have one and it's going to continue copying the files uh, this is a 300 megabyte file which is pretty large in terms of uh, iPod touch files so it will take a while for it to copy so maybe a couple minutes I'm going to pause it and I'm going to restart the video when this is done okay so now that you've got that 300 megabyte file uh, uploaded to your iPod you're going to want to boot it back up open up installer you can go to install all packages 1.1.3 soft upgrade and hit install it's going to download and it'll install it might take a while like most things with this uh, there, I think there may be a time when it will seem like it is frozen but just let it do its thing it could take a couple minutes if it seems frozen for a very long time you could restart it with the power buttons and it should boot up into 1.1.3 Okay, I've just rebooted my iPod, and as you can see, I'm going to go to Settings, General, About, and there's my version right there, 1.1.3. So I have successfully rebooted into a jailbroken 1.1.3. I have installer data app right there, but I do not have any of the iPhone apps, the ones that you'd pay $20 for, and I can't jiggle my icons around which everybody knows is the coolest thing in the world so we're gonna have to go back to SSH so load that up. you're gonna have to reinstall BSD subsystem 2.0 and open SSH so you can get those both in installer and then open up SSH again so now that you got BSD subsystem and open SSH installed and you're back into your FTP program you're gonna go to the jailbreak folder and find the file called springboard and then you are going to navigate to your iPod to system library core services springboard.app and you're going to find this file down here which is springboard so you're gonna go up back to your iPod pick up the springboard file and copy it over yes copy yes will take a little bit of time and then it will be done so now that you've got that springboard file replaced you need to navigate back to the top directory of your iPod touch this is where things get a little bit tricky if you're using win SCP like I am go to the top directory and hit control T you'll get a little pop-up something like this telling you about your shell set shell session and you can just hit OK to that it'll search for host like it's doing here authenticating and then you will get this terminal window right here it's lagging a bit because of hypercam but you need to put in a command 
chmod plus x system library core services springboard.app springboard and this is long but it will be included in the description so you got nothing to worry about and then you need to hit over here execute and it will come down here and it will tell you that it worked well it will not tell you that it worked actually but it will not tell you that it didn't work so it did you can close that and we're ready to move on okay now that we've got that out of the way we need to navigate to system library core services springboard.app and we need to scroll down until we find a file called n45ap.plist it's right there and what you need to do is navigate over to your computer copy the plist file from the jailbreak folder copy it to the iPod touch hit copy yes it will copy and that will be done so you're gonna wanna navigate to the root directory of your iPod one more time and open up another terminal you're gonna have to copy in a series of commands that will be in the description uh, I'm not gonna type them in here but they are cd backslash mv applications applications underscore mkdir private var applications ln dash s private var applications slash applications cd applications cp dash capital r applications underscore star rm dash r applications underscore now as i said before do not worry these will be in the description but uh... for now i'm not going to do them when you open this you should have only one applications folder and you'll be ready to move on to the next step so once you've opened that final terminal window you could go to your ipod uh, just one more time you will be running jailbroken 1.1.3 at this moment as you can see right there but now what you're going to want to do is reboot your ipod so go ahead and hold the hold button slide the power off and turn it back on get the beautiful Mac logo and hopefully when this boots up we will have a fully jailbroken 1.1.3 iPod touch remember to donate to me at fake name at fake name dot com and there you go you can dismiss this message right here and you now have a completely jailbroken no annoying pop-ups this will function completely you do not have to fix any iPhone software you do have the jiggling icons that everybody loves uh, it is possible that your mail application will not work properly uh, in the event of that you just go to installer I already donated install all packages uh, you will find I already have it 1.1.3 mail fix is somewhere in there and and also uh, something I recommend downloading is 1.1.3 soft upgrade cleaner which will remove the 300 megabyte file from your computer uh, from your iPod touch excuse me uh, you download it then you go to uninstall and you uninstall it and there you go you are now running a uh, totally functioning 1.1.3 jailbroken iPod.